What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to our second Test It Out Tuesday. So on my Instagram, I asked you guys, what would you like to see more of? And I got so many responses saying drugstore foundation, drugstore products. So that's exactly what we're doing today. We are playing with a new-ish drugstore foundation, uh, new for me. I'm definitely a drugstore foundation kind of gal. I do have my high-end ones that I love and keep going back to. But for the most part, my favorites are always drugstore. So I'm really excited to be doing this video. Today we are talking about the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. And because this says 24 hours, it claims that it's very long wearing. We are going to be doing a wear test in addition to a first impressions. So if you guys are interested in seeing my first impressions and how this guy wears throughout the day, then let's get started. So before we get started applying the foundation to our face, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about this. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation, and I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm really, really excited to try it out. I got mine from Ulta, and it was $11.99. And right now at Ulta, they're actually having a sale. It's buy one, get one half off. So I got two. I got a little bit of a lighter shade and then a darker shade to mix because I am self-tanned right now. This foundation comes in 28 shades, which is really, really great for the drugstore. I'm so impressed with them lately. A lot of brands at the drugstore now have completely expanded their foundation shade ranges. I think it's awesome. It's about time. I remember when I first started like getting into makeup, brands had like three shades, like light, medium, and dark. That was it, which is absolutely ridiculous. Thank God it's changing for the better. Some of the claims or benefits that this foundation has, it says it's oil-free, it doesn't clog pores, it's dermatologist tested, full coverage foundation with a seamless finish, it evens out camouflages and enhances your skin, minimizes the appearance of flaws and imperfection, glides onto the skin for a smooth and breathable wear. So I have the shade 312 golden and then 140 light tan. And I'm thinking that this shade golden might actually be perfect for me. So I know last time I did a foundation wear test on my channel, I actually used two different primers, but today I'm just going to be using one primer because I actually have plans throughout the day and stuff I need to get done. So I don't want this to look too crazy. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my Natasha Denona Magic Primer. Um, this is a mattifying primer because this is supposed to be a, what kind of finish does this have? Seamless matte finish. So because this is a mattifying foundation, I am going to use a matte primer with it. I just think that these work best together. So I just have my usual like moisturizers, sunscreen, that kind of stuff on. And I'm going to apply the primer now. I'm going to go in with like one pump of this, which actually is a little bit too much, but that's okay. And I'm really just gonna press this into my T-zone and then drag the remaining onto my cheeks where I need a little extra oil control. I love this primer because it's super, super matte, but it's kind of thick. It's not silicone-y, but it is really thick and pore filling at the same time. I've been using this primer for like two years. It's so good, I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to go in with the shade 312 Golden, like I said, and this does have a nice pump, which I am a big fan of drugstore foundations that have pumps lately. And I'm just gonna apply this with a beauty blender. I was gonna do one side with a brush and one side with a beauty blender, but I'm just not a brush and foundation kind of gal. And I say this in every single video, I know my foundation is darker than my actual skin tone, but we are trying to match our body, not our actual face. I do not self tan my face just because I think it looks so bad. <laughs> this shade is like really yellow. Ooh, this dries quick. You gotta move fast. This almost reminds me a little bit of the LA girl, like pro matte. I'm gonna take a little bit of light tan because this is just like a weird undertone in my opinion. So I have some dark spots here from like scarring and stuff like that and this is covering it really, really well. And I do have a nice little <laughs> breakout right there. So we'll see how, how's that? That was pretty good. It's like dry, but kind of tacky still. 
because this is kind of like a dry but sticky formula, I'm really curious to see how concealer will blend into it. But I don't know if you can see this. I'm like really mad. Um, I would maybe, if you have dry skin, I don't know if you would like this. You definitely have to use like a hydrating primer. Um, I wonder if this would be really nice mixed with like Too Faced Born This Way, which is like a little bit more of a natural finish. I don't know how I feel about this on its own. It's like... <laughs> flat matte. So I'm going to apply my concealer on camera just because I want you guys to see how other products blend on top of it. Um, I'm just using my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer in the shade C13, which it looks really scary, but it actually blends out really nicely into like a perfect color. Wow, everything's blending into it really nicely. I'm impressed. This looks good. It does feel like a little bit heavy and sticky to me though. Like I really need to set this down. Like I for sure feel it on like my upper lip and kind of on my forehead and I don't know. It feels, it feels heavy to me. Hmm. It looks nice though. I mean, it really, really does look nice. So it's currently 1.13 right now. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and finish getting ready off camera. And then I will be back to do one final check-in with you guys before we start our day. So far, I really like it. It's looking nice. I will report back once I have the remainder of my powders and all of that stuff applied. All right, you guys, so this is the final makeup look. I went a little more natural today. Um, I just wasn't feeling like a ton of makeup. The thought of putting false eyelashes on right now, I just, I can't be bothered. But I am wearing the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder, and I think that this foundation looks really, really good. <gasps> I didn't put highlighter on. One second. Okay, now this is the finished look. I can't believe I forgot highlight. Oh my God. Anyways, as I was saying, I used the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder, and I think my skin looks amazing. I'm really, really impressed with this. I look pretty much airbrushed. Everything I want covered is, it's covered, and everything laid on top really, really nicely. My concealer blended nicely. The powder looks amazing. It does not look cakey. Um, we are now completely set. I'm not worried about any transferring or anything like melting off me. We are going to be outside for a very long time this evening. We're going to a baseball game and it's very cloudy and like not rainy, but very, very humid today. So we're going to see how this really holds up. But so far, so good. I'm really, really loving it. Really, really quickly before we go, I just wanted to tell you guys about the remainder of the products that I used. Um, I've been obsessed with this Sephora Colorful Waterproof Eyeliner. It's just like their liquid liners. I have mine in this like bronzy brown with gold glitter shade. I've just been loving this for like a winged liner because it's not as harsh as black. So you don't need to apply false lashes. It still looks really natural. And I think it's so, so flattering. I love it on brown eyes. I love it on blue eyes. I think it's really pretty for like a bronzy summer makeup look. So if you're looking for a liquid liner, but are a little intimidated by black, like waterproof or anything like that, I think you might really, really enjoy this. Super easy to apply. It lasts a long time and it has a little bit of sparkle. It's like a little bit different. It is a felt tip. It's not a brush. So you have really good control over it. Like I said, super easy to use. I can get a nice sharp wing very easily. And then on my lips, I have this Morphe Bullet Lipstick um, in the shade Honey. This is just their matte lip. Not super matte. It's not like a MAC matte lipstick, but they're super comfortable. I've really, really been loving these lately. I just have MAC Cork Lip Liner around my lips to just kind of make everything blend a little bit better. So I will do a check-in with you guys in a little bit. So I realized that I just signed off with you guys, but did not tell you what time it was. Um, it is currently 1.46, and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in daylight really quickly. Please excuse the mess behind me. Um, but like I said, it's kind of cloudy out, but I think it looks so good. 
is kind of what we're working with so far. I think it looks really pretty. It's very matte, but I think that it's definitely not natural looking. Obviously, you can tell I'm wearing like a full coverage foundation, but I think it looks really, really nice. It's not like overly drying or cakey. I don't think it looks cakey at all. And I do have some like bumps and texture, but it's really not emphasizing any of that. I think everything looks really smooth and I'm a big fan so far. So, uh, it's the next day. <laughs> I really, I, I have no excuse. I have no excuse. Other than the fact that we stayed out too late. So when I got home, I was not able to finish this video up and give you my final thoughts, but I'm actually really glad that I did not sign off with you guys officially and give you my thoughts because today I decided to wear the foundation again and I actually applied it a little bit differently and I think I like it a little bit better. So yesterday I wore the foundation from like, we'll just call it 2 p.m. because it was like one something. So from like two to like 12 p.m. And so I wore it for 10 hours. We went to a baseball game actually, and it was like raining and super hot and steamy, muggy. The humidity was just like off the charts. So it was actually really good weather conditions to be testing out the foundation. I think it was like 88 degrees or something ridiculous like that. So I did do a check-in in the afternoon, which I will insert that clip right here. It's not me speaking or anything. It's literally just like a video of what my skin looks like. And I think that that was like two hours. I'll put the actual time. That was about two hours after I applied the foundation and I was outside for a little bit. It still looked really, really good. I liked it. It did feel a little bit heavy. I'm not gonna lie. It, it felt like I was wearing foundation, but it looked nice. So then my next check-in was about 10 p.m., I think, and I will insert that clip now. All right, you guys, it is currently 10.06 p.m. I've had this foundation on for a minute. Let's just say that. Um, I'm not gonna do an official outro or anything just because it's so late already. Um, this was for sure a full day wear test. Um, so this is what we're looking like. I'm a little bit oily, but honestly, this foundation looks pretty good, I must say. So we were from like 5 p.m. up until like 8.30, we were outside at a baseball game and it started like pouring rain. It was humid, it was disgusting weather, it was not nice. So I was sweating and then it rained and I think it still looks <laughs> really good it did come off a little bit where i was wearing my sunglasses but that's not a big deal at all and like i said i'm a little bit oily but for the most part like through 90 degrees and pouring rain not bad so after 10 p.m i wore it for another like two and a half hours or so and it really wore re like not bad at all it it didn't wear poorly at all. I just, it was so sticky and heavy on my face. I just, I wanted it off so badly. Even though it looked good, it didn't feel very good to me. So today I applied the foundation again. I'm wearing it for a second time in a row. So this isn't really like a first impression anymore, but I was just curious how this would look with a different primer and applying it differently. So my thought process was maybe I used like a silicone based primer, like a thicker primer. Maybe that's what kind of made it a little bit sticky. And even though it wore really well, I was a little bit oily. I wasn't as matte as I usually am. So I don't know why I was like, oh, well like, let me apply more hydrating products because I wasn't oily enough the first time. Um, but I went in with my Marc Jacobs, the coconut hydrating primer, and then I actually applied this guy with a brush. I just applied it with like this It Cosmetics foundation brush and I really like it with a brush a lot better. I think the coverage is really nice. Um, it is it is still really full coverage. I know that sometimes brushes can leave like streaks or marks. Even though a beauty blender does sheer out foundation as well, you still for some reason do get more coverage. But I think the coverage is about the same with a brush. And I did a little bit more setting and it just, it feels so much better. I think it looks so much better. I have no pores. I look really smooth. I'm just a lot happier with the outcome of using a lighter, not as heavy primer, I think. 
a really lightweight, comfortable primer that's not gonna do anything crazy like slip and slide. This is just like a nice in-between primer. And with the brush, it literally took like 30 seconds to blend everything out. This really reminds me of the LA Girl Pro Matte. It's kind of that like liquidy formula that dries pretty quickly, so it is nicer with a brush. You can move faster and kind of manipulate the product a little bit more. But if you've tried the LA Girl, it's kind of like this. It has a matte finish like this. It's not quite as drying as the LA Girl because that stuff, once it's dry, like it's not moving. This does transfer a little bit. So the claims that it makes that it's like transfer proof, I don't really agree with that. But the finish is really pretty. It is matte. It did last a decent amount of time, but I did get oily. I did want to blot. I didn't, but I really, really wanted to. But I mean, I still had full coverage foundation through rain and humidity. I really got to give this guy props. Like it put in a lot of work yesterday. So all in all, I do really like this foundation. I don't think it's my absolute, absolute favorite, but for a drugstore foundation, if you're looking for something new, this is really, really good. I would just, like I said, be careful with the primer because it did feel a little bit tacky and like sticky and a little bit heavy. So I would go in with something a little bit more lightweight maybe not like as pore filling all over the face. So this color 140 light tan right now is absolutely perfect for me. This one golden 312 was a little bit dark, but this was good for like my first day of being self tanned. But since then I've showered and you know, it kind of fades out a little bit. And this one is absolutely perfect. It's what I'm wearing today. And I think I'm definitely gonna continue using this foundation. I do really, really like it. I think this would also be a really good foundation to mix in with some others. Overall though, super full coverage, does last a long time, but did not keep me super, super matte. But again, I mean, I put it through the ringer yesterday, so please keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to our second Test It Out Tuesday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I'm sorry this video was a little bit all over the place. It's a little bit choppy, kind of messy, but you know, that's just how it goes. I did a wear test and my day took a different turn than I was anticipating and I think it actually worked out for the better. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if there are any other products you want me to test out on my next Test It Out Tuesday, leave me a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can't stop